Hey everyone, I'm Michael Kreslovsky and welcome to How to Speak Oregonian. This is just a fun little video for you in honor of our 300th subscriber. Yes, we are finally hitting the small leagues. So a lot of you have been watching these videos and you actually get in touch with me, which is super fun. And then you get out here and you visit and we help you buy homes and move here. And I wanna make sure that the first time you visit that you're pronouncing things right so that you don't end up having awkward conversations with someone politely correcting you. So let's go. So first of all, I'm Michael Krasilovsky out of Team K Realty at Remax in Corvallis, Oregon. And the reason why I am telling you how to pronounce my name, Krasilovsky, is because there is actually another Michael K who is also a Remax realtor in the area, and him and I have the same birthday, and we get each other's phone calls all the time. It's really confusing. It's kind of annoying, I'm sure, for both of us. So just keep in mind which one I am, Krasilovsky. All right, now that we got that out of the way, what is this lovely state? If you're like me, you grew up playing the Oregon Trail video game on the computer, but it turns out that is not how you say this lovely state. It's Oregon, not Oregon, Oregon. So if you wanna say it with me, Oregon. And I am gonna do my best to have some pronunciations on the screen in case that's helpful uh, for you visual learners. All right, so welcome to Oregon. And in Oregon, we have this lovely community called Corvallis. So core valis, if you break that word down, core is heart and valis is valley, heart of the valley, core valis. The common mispronunciation that I hear people say is corvallis and they uh, just kind of roll things together, but it's kind of like you got, you know, like, uh, I don't know, uh, something in your mouth while you're saying it, corvallis. It's more like corvallis. So if that helps, this is corvallis, the heart of the valley. We are right next to small town, 5,000 people, Philomath. And people always butcher this one. I did too when I was new because it looks like it would be Philomath, but it's not. There's no Philo dough, it's Philomath. And Philomath, if you want to break the word down, is love of learning uh, because the Oregon State College started there way back when. I hope I'm not messing that up. On the other side of Corvallis, we have Albany. I don't think people really tend to butcher the pronunciation of Albany because there's a bunch of Albanys in the country, uh, but Corvallis, Philomath, and Albany. All right, those three communities, as you can see on the screen, they compose the Tri-Cities, as no one calls it. I really tried to make it a thing, uh, but don't, don't. If you come here and you start referencing the Tri-Cities, people are just going to think you're weird, and, uh, and that, that won't be fun. So Tri-Cities, eh. <laughs> okay. However, they are the Mid-Valley, and nearby, about a half hour from Corvallis, we have the city of Lebanon. So I could do this video all over the state, but I'm not going to. Lebanon, however, is close enough that I want to make sure that you don't actually ref accidentally refer to it as Lebanon. It's Lebanon, Lebanon. All right, city of Lebanon, about 15,000 people, about a half hour to the east of us. To the north of us, where Western Oregon University is, is the lovely town of Monmouth. So not Monmouth, Monmouth. Western Oregon University is in Monmouth. And to the south of us, where the University of Oregon is, is of course the larger city of Eugene. Now, Eugene people, if you happen to be watching this, help me out, comment below, because I still don't know how to pronounce Eugene. Is it Eugene or Eugene? I don't know. I feel like I hear people around here say it both ways, and I still don't actually know what the proper pronunciation is if there's even a, a proper one between those two. I've just been saying Eugene, and I don't think people have been correcting me, so there we go. All right, we've got some lovely rivers around here. This is, of course, going right through Corvallis, and this is the beautiful Willamette River, which is why we are in the Willamette Valley. So the common mispronunciation here is people will say like Willamette or Williamette or whatever, but it's Willamette. And this one, I hope you don't mind my language, but the Willamette Valley Vineyards, the winery north of us on I-5, has t-shirts to help you remember it. And they look like this. It's Willamette, damn it. So there you go. Little, uh, is that a moniker? I hope I'm using the right word. It's Willamette, damn it. Uh, just to remember how to pronounce that. So when you see people with that t-shirt, it's from the Willamette Valley Vineyards. And another river nearby, this is to also make sure that you don't uh, mispronunciate, the, mispronunciate the name, uh, is Kalapuya. So Kalapuya River uh, is nearby and Kalapuya Brewing Company is also nearby in Albany, Oregon. And I just want to make sure that no one makes fun of you at one of the you know, amazing local brew pubs when you order a beer because I don't want you to mispronounce it uh, Kalapuya or something like that. Kalapuya. 
Right along those lines, the river in Oregon with this amazing brewery as well is the Deschutes. So Deschutes River and Deschutes Brewery. I don't want you to go into like Block 15 Brew Pub downtown and ask for a Discute Spear. Uh, people might look at you weird. Okay, Deschutes. We're getting towards the end here. This is iconic north of us, Multnomah Falls. When I Googled this, the pronunciation guide actually said Multnomah. And I was like, what? I thought there was a T there. Still not sure. If you're a local Oregonian, I've only been here for 12 or 13 years, please do feel free to politely comment below uh, in case I'm pronouncing this wrong. But according to Google, Multnomah. And then what do we call this? What is this? This uh, precipitation from the sky. We get a lot of this in the fall, winter, and spring. Say it with me. Cloud juice. <laughs> okay, okay. Cloud juice. Fine, fine. It's rain, of course. And I am only half joking as I say this, but you know, most of us here, we just don't care about a little bit of cloud juice. It drizzles a lot. You got to know that. We don't want to hide that from you if you're thinking about moving here. Um, this is a friendly joke. So what do we call people who are carrying uh, rain prevention devices? Tourists. <laughs> now, just kidding. Not trying to throw shade if you don't want to get, you know, wet in the rain here. Uh, my wife actually has an amazing, huge, multicolor umbrella, and uh, she, she rocks that thing with pride. All right, and last but not least, and this is like the bonus round. This is a really tricky one. Pay attention. All right, this word that's on the screen, this is a grove of these particular types of trees. They have these nuts that are uh, really, really famous, especially because year, not year round, uh, worldwide, you can buy this delicious Nutella uh, spread with chocolate with this kind of thing in it. So say the word with, with me, ready? How do we say this in Oregon? Three, two, one, filbert. There you go. I don't know what the origin is behind calling these filberts. I grew up in Connecticut, thought they were hazelnuts, but I've been corrected on that in the area. Apparently, filbert is the term for this in the Mid Valley in Oregon. All right, well, folks, I've been Michael Kreselovsky out of Remax in Corvallis. I help people buy and sell homes for a living, and it's just been really fun getting to be an ambassador, really, for Corvallis in the Mid Valley as I get to connect with you folks. So if I can be a resource for you, please don't be shy. Just reach out to me, and I'd love to connect with you soon. Thanks so much, and bye for now.